Well, what we're trying to do is, is to use sound to understand how nature works. And we do that by going to different kinds of ecosystems around the world, look at biodiversity patterns, and then how animals communicate in different environments, and try to understand it in the context of the biome, the ecosystem that exists at that place. One of the other things that we're very interested in doing is understanding how humans connect to the environment through what I call the acoustic link. At the Center for Global Soundscape, we are looking for bringing awareness to the ears of our audience. We are working with a young audience. We are focusing on activities that make them connected to nature. And by being able to recognize sound and also connect sound or different sorts of sounds to nature, we are working with a mainly middle school students and also the package is adaptable for visually impaired students. So the learning package that we have is composed of three elements, uh, the interactive theater show, um, or ITS, the YELLS, or Your Ecosystem Listening Labs, and iListen, which is an online learning portal. iListen was designed as an online experience to help middle school students uh, see what it's like to be a scientist. So the end goal of the iListen portal, complete a mission, and a mission is a research project. These students will fly to a location using a map that has interactive research sites and they will visit the research station. In this research station they actually conduct uh, an experiment using sounds we've collected in the field. And at the very end they will have collected their own data, they will have uh, developed a hypothesis, and they'll have all the material they need in order to prepare like a science fair poster. So the idea here was, how can we help teachers to help students to understand the scientific method? Your Ecosystem Listening Lab, or YELLS, is a comprehensive package uh, containing 15 activities um, designed for informal settings like science camps or nature clubs. Each activity is individual, it has its own learning objectives, and has been designed according to next generation science standard. There are many studies showing that students, especially young students, they are losing their interest in the STEM field. One of the essential components of this package is YELLS because it teaches a young audience how to be a scientist. And we would like to raise their interest toward STEM, mainly, mainly hands-on um, activities that happens in ecology. Informal STEM learning is extremely important to uh, formal classroom learning in that uh, uh, informal learning provides an opportunity to expand on and extend what happens within uh, a classroom setting and at the same time uh, that informal learning experience can be brought into and integrated into the uh, science classroom or the STEM classroom in a, in a formal setting and then provide opportunities for a teacher to uh, build on those uh, informal experiences uh, so that students can develop a better, better understanding of, of uh, science or in this case our, our environment and sounds and soundscape. In the interactive theater show, unlike a traditional movie or IMAX experience when the audience is invited to sit back, relax, and perhaps doze off, the live presenter engages with the audience and brings them on a journey to three distinct ecosystems where they learn about the physics of sound, how animals use sound to communicate, and the growing use of soundscapes as a tool to understand the ecology of natural systems. So the goal is to mobilize global citizen scientists. And so what we've done is we've built an app called Record the Earth. You can download it for an Android or an Apple device. You go out and you record, and then you answer a couple of questions that are very important to us. What do you hear? And how does it make you feel? You upload it to our map server, and that database is growing. And we can now analyze the sounds from all over the world. It's giving us kind of a map, but also a time series, a history of the way in which people are contributing to, to both science, but also to uh, how, they, how they interact with their acoustic environment. In the three components, big data is emphasized because when we collect sound, sound files are samples of pressure many thousands of times per second. So we're collecting a ton of data. It's the direction that a lot of science is going nowadays. And we want to emphasize uh, this concept of big data for middle school students because big data is everywhere and it's the future of 
analysis and our students really need to be learning about it and learning how to interact with big data through coding, software, that sort of thing. And we would like to have a future of young scientists who appreciate science, who appreciate nature, and uh, we have a better future. So all three packages are designed to get and motivate students to get outdoors and to reconnect to nature through this acoustic link. We have to open up our ears. Sound from nature is very marvelous and it begins the first step in the observation process, the first step to science.